All mathematics of the law of time are demonstrated in the wheel of the law of time, inclusive of the origins and cosmology of the 1320 frequency. To study the wheel of the law of time, visualize yourself inside the circle and focus on the number 7. Note that the 7 is implicit in the 13. It is also implicit between the 13 and 20. The fourth part of the 7 and the seventh part of the 13 are exactly 180 degrees apart from each other. This demonstrates the ratio of totality and creates the formulation of the law of time 4 is to 7 what 7 is to 13. The 13 and 7 have meaning when you take a circle and divide it into 20 parts. 20 parts at 18 degrees each equal 20 times 18 equals 360 degrees equals a circle. This is the only way you can put 7 and 13 together and make a whole. This means that the interval ratio of 7, the lost time and eternity, corresponds to 126 degrees, 18 degrees times 7. The 7 with the remaining 13 creates 20 parts of 18 degrees, making a whole. The 13-7 ratio relates to the moon because the moon is always creating a hole. When it returns to its newness, it has made a full circle. Note that the four phases of the moon are roughly associated with seven days each. The moon shifts in the sky 13 degrees every day in one lunation cycle. 13 times 28 equals 364, or 28 times slightly less than 13 degrees equals 360 degrees. This creates the ratio 137 which creates the whole. So we have the 126 degrees of the 7 and 234 degrees of the 13. 13 times 18 equals 234. 18 times 7 equals 126. 126 plus 234 equals 360. 234 minus 126 equals 108. So the GM108X mediates between the 13 and 7. Also note the reciprocal numbers of 7 and 13. These are pure cyclical recombinants when multiplied by 1 minus 6 for 7 and 1 minus 12 for 13. Note the symmetry pattern and arrangement into sets of triplets of both reciprocals, i.e. reciprocal of 7 equals 142,857 and reciprocal of 13 equals 076,923 and 153,846. Each in six cyclic variations arranged into six sets of matching inverse triplets of three digits each. The galactic compass 1320 wheel contains seven void spaces and 13 numbered spaces, thus recapitulating the cosmology of the 1320 frequency. This is the origin of the 1320 frequency and demonstrates why it is a recurring cosmology. The two numbers 13 and 7 create a circle. Then we have the 1320 ratio with the seven intervals. This is a constant totality. It demonstrates how the original time is incorporated as a circle with 20 parts, 13 plus 7, of 18 degrees each. On the inside of the wheel, the HAB 360 day tune cycle is demonstrated and counted in 18 20 day intervals. The five extra days are known as the voyelle that comes after the completion of the tune and which is unique in relation to this as it is not counted here. Note the 13 and count the first 13 days. Then the vigesimal count continues on the next ring in from 14 up to 20. This represents the book of seven generations, which corresponds precisely with the inner wheel starting at 14 wizard and all the way up to 20 sun. Note also the seven solar mantras starting with the root mantra and concluding with the crown mantra. 
These seven mantras also correspond to the seven days of creation, the seven heavens, and the interval ratio of lost time in eternity. This defines the basic 13-7 program. Then there is the 20-part program. The circle of 360 degrees is divided into 20 parts, 18 times 20. But the matrix of 20 is 400. 20 squared. 400 minus 360 equals 40. This is a fractal ratio. 18 is to 20, but 360 is to 400. 400 minus 260 equals 140. 140, 7 times 20, is the key ratio of 7. So again the ratio of 7 plus 260 equals 400. The ratio of 7 is very important, as it is both 7 times 20 and 5 times 28, which gives us the standard measure. On the innermost circle of the wheel, we see the 13 moons, which represent 3rd dimensional time. All the rest is 4th and 5th dimensional time, with the Sun at the center. The Mayan mathematical system illustrates the 360-day count, which is what accounts for creating the 1320 frequency. The all-encompassing cube matrix is 20 plus 1 squared, which is the Hunapku. 21 is the factor that occurs in the occult position. In the fifth force dream spell oracle, the occult kin always add up to 21. This is the 21 factor. The original matrix of creation also corresponds to a matrix of 21 squared, which is the 441 matrix. The number 21 is the key to our understanding of the higher consciousness that is evolving us. 21 is the synthesis of the primal law of 7 and the sacred law of 3. The primal law of 7 defines creation and with the primal law of 3 defines the basic dynamics by which all existence unfolds. There are 7 days of creation commonly known as the 7 days of the week. We have the three bodies, physical, emotional and mental, and also a third dimensional physical self, fourth dimensional emotional mental etheric self, and a fifth dimensional purely electronic higher spiritual self. The synthesis of the law of seven and the law of three is 21. Until now, we have not synthesized completely the two secret laws. That is why 21 is the key to the higher consciousness of our next stage of evolution. 21 times 21, or 441, simply defines the matrix of the unity of totality of the cycles of cosmic evolution. These mathematical frequencies are created by interval relations of different numbers and the matrices of these interval frequencies. Numbers do not just exist in a starting line. In reality, numbers exist as components of a living matrix in which our bodies and minds are intricately woven. When we consider that number is actually happening at its own dimensional level, then we can begin to attune to the vibrating essence activated by different thought forms these number essences are empowered by different thought forms that activate them so that they become the telepathic manifestations of the thought forms that activated them. Then those thought forms manifest in the physical plane as different functions, some of which create matter. Other thought forms are also various mental and psychic capacities. We are moving into a realm where the main constituent language is the language of number. But we have to think of numbers as different frequencies. Each number has its unique set of frequencies, and combined with other numbers, we can begin to derive intervals as illustrated within the wheel of the law of time. This is the basis of an actual living structure a vibrant self-existing world of interlocking synchronic relationships. This is why we follow the synchronic codes, so we can see what synchronic relationships are each day. 
Then as we go through the day, we see other numbers that correspond to those codes. The ultimate purpose of practicing these number codes is to create a mental force field to shift the world hologram. We see the two primary aspects of this mental force field are the 1320 wheel and the 441 matrix. These are the two sets of frequencies in a circle form and the square form and the cube form. These are the frequencies that we focus on to create the mental configurations to erase the old hologram and put in place the new hologram.